Hey everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On this video we're gonna go meet up with Mary Beth. Been a long time since we've seen her. Got some catching up to do. And while I'm out here in the desert, I'm gonna try one more attempt at getting the owl I've been after. So we're gonna sleep until nighttime. Okay, hopefully we can find that owl. I am tired of looking for it. Hello, girl. And we're going to be heading over to Tumbleweed. To take a stagecoach out of the desert. So yes, hopefully we find what we're looking for. So far I see nothing in the sky. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I'll try to stay near where I found it before. Oh, I have something after me, likely a cougar. Let me turn around and pop it in the face. What do you think you're doing? Die. Hey, three star, that's awesome. Alright, so while I'm scanning this, look around. Still no owl. Oh, what's that? Oh, that might be it! Oh my god, John, hurry up. Here, drop this. Oh, that's totally it. That is totally it. Oh, he's out of range. Rachel, get over here, now! Here we go, here we go. Hold on, I lost sight of it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's heading out of the map, I think. Get over there quick. Oh, we're finally getting it. There you are. Got it. All right, now to shoot it down. Oh, I got a cougar. Yep. I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, didn't actually kill him. There. Okay. Where did his corpse drop? Right over here. Finally, finally, finally. Is it? Oh, right there. I'm blind. All right. That entry is done. The Californian horned owl is native to New Austin. As carnivores, they prey on mammals like hares, rabbits, mice, and small birds. A varmint rifle is considered the best weapon to wound or kill a bird this size. Owl feathers can be used for crafting, and their gamey meat can be cooked for food. Finally done. Don't need to come out here to look for them anymore. Alright, let's go back and pick up that uh, cougar pelt. Toss that trash on the ground. I don't need that. Let's see, where the heck did I go? Oh, I might have lost it. Or did I put it on Rachel? I didn't think I did, but maybe I did. I don't know. I was so excited. I, I have no idea what I did. Oh, wait, that's not what I killed, is it? You know what? I don't even care. I can get. Cougar pelts basically whenever I want. I got what I needed. And we're getting out of the desert. Oh, 
I'm trying to think. That might have been... That might have been the very last animal entry. I don't have them all 100%, but I think I've got all of the entries now. Unless there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, no, I don't have a Fertilance. That would be the last one. The Fertilance snake. Oh, and I don't have a Devon Bull. And I don't have a Mutt. Okay, never mind. We still have a few left. Alright, so anyways, Mary Beth can be found in Valentine, so that's where we're going to take our stagecoach to. So you can find Mary Beth at the train station here. Over on this bench. Hi, Mary Beth. Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> He's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was. That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye! Well, Mary Beth seems to be doing well, and she gave us a book. Let's take a look. The Lady of the Manor, an audacious new rom romance by Leslie DuPont. Chapter 6, A Twist of the Knife of Time. Susan Grade, the Lady of Leicester, or Leicester, I think that's how you pronounce it, Leicester. Uh, I only know because of the football team. Uh, Susan Grade, the Lady of Leicester, stared at the highwayman, her bosom heaving, her heart pounding in her chest. Her flintlock dueling pistol ready to put a bullet clean between his eyes. David Vincent, the infamous Black Knight, the most wanted man in England and France, smiled. He was not nervous. He was never nervous when faced by beauty. The woman's anger and rage excited him. I'm sorry about your husband, my lady, he said mischievously. But it was a fair fight. A fair fight, she gasped. You shot him in the back. I never did, but we shall come to that later, he winked at her. She raged, yet even in her anger, she felt something else welling up inside her. A pain even worse than grief. A reality that has punished women since the dawn of time. Love. Susan was in love with a murderer. Her husband, bad man that he was, lay not yet cold at her feet, and already she was in love with his black-hearted killer. The feelings were too much for her. She would never admit them to anyone. Vincent, with his infinite reserves of cunning, Saw these truths written on her face, instantly, and knew everything, entirely. He smiled. This smile angered her, and she decided at that moment that rather than give in to love, she would fight it. She would destroy David Vincent in order to stop loving him. She looked calmly at her gun. 
I'm afraid, Mr. Vincent, that I can forgive many things in a man, but shooting people in the back is not one of them, she said calmly. Yet just at that moment, the moment of truth when a man and a woman stand before each other, there was a shout from outside. Both the widowed lady and the handsome highwayman looked at the door. This is Her Majesty's police force, said the voice. It was, of course, Mr. Mellon, the dogged, soulless embodiment of all that would crash a person's spirit, the king's worst enforcer, the most hated and feared man in all England. Mr. Vincent, if you do not come out from there, I shall kill you and everyone you hold dear. The voice made them both shudder. They knew it to be true. Calmly, David Vincent proved beyond all doubt, whatever else he may be, he was no gentleman. Take off your dress, he muttered. Now, she gasped, while my husband is not yet buried and the law await outside? I will marry you and make a real woman of you yet, my lady, winked the highwayman. But right now, if we are to escape the gallows, I just need to borrow your dress. Do not worry, I will not look. Quickly, she slipped out of her elegant yellow silk gown and was left humiliated in just her petticoats. The highwayman stole a glance at her beautiful figure, then grabbed the dress. Madame, drape yourself in this cape while I demonstrate that it is not me that our dear friend Mr. Mellon wants to kill, but you. Me, she gasped. You with you, or, yeah, you with you and your husband dead at my hands. He can install himself as the Lord of Leicester. Your beautiful niece shall become his wife. He spoke and she saw that he spoke the truth in the way the people who speak only truth know of truth. But she hates him, she blustered, her pretty petticoats blowing slightly in the beautiful evening breeze. All the better. Now watch this, said the handsome highwayman knowingly. While the beautiful and imperious lady shivered in her petticoats, her hair disheveled, her bosom heaving, her spirit unbroken, the handsome highwayman took the dress and put it on a mop that was fortuitously lying nearby. He stuck the mop and dress out the castle's window, so that in the darkening light, the mop's hair resembled Susan's own beautiful head of lascivious curls. In the darkened light of night, all that would be seen were the elegant folds of yellow silk from the beautiful gown. Standing proud and erect, only not draped across the heaving bosom of Susan Grade, but attached to a mop. At once, five shots rang out from below and the gown was reduced to rags. Vincent turned to the heroine. Now, will you trust me, madame? I am a thief, a murderer, a sinner, and only hope of survival. Or, and your only hope of survival. Follow me. I don't believe a word of it, the lady spluttered. But in her heart she knew it was true. England was in the grip of evil. A madness had got the people by the throat, and she, Susan Grade, born a peasant and risen up to, the, to a lady of the manor, she whose heart was that of a proud woman, who bowed to no man, she must save the nation. To do so, her only hope was to trust this man, whom she hated almost as much as she loved. There was no choice. It was that or have her head cut off and give her family and the manor house. Yet still part of her wavered. Then a voice from below made her or made her mind up for her. Is she dead, Vincent? called out the treacherous police inspector. I know you're up there. Come out calmly and we can avoid too much further nonsense. I will spare you if you come out forthwith. The king has said I may pardon you, if I so choose. Soon this whole castle will be mine. David Vincent smiled and led the lady away across the rooftop of the castle to safety in the islands. Well, hopefully she made a lot of money with that book. Mary Beth has earned it. So, what are we going to do? Well, first we're going to brush off Rachel cuz she is dirty. You got this, darling. Much much better. Good girl. All right, so uh, I think we're actually gonna take a stagecoach out of here. But before we do, I actually need some yarrow. So let's go pick that up. I think there's some yarrow nearby. For some of these recipes, I need to craft yarrow is necessary. Ooh, and is that evergreen huckleberry? I need that too. It might be. It kind of looks like a huckleberry bush. Ah, uh, no. Raspberry. I don't need that. And this is time. Alright, well. 
Got my arrow at least. All right, so we're gonna leave and we're gonna go down to Sandini. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to come to San Denis, but, uh... Mind how you go. Hmm. Yeah, actually, um... Let's, uh, instead go to Rhodes. I didn't mean to come here. I'm wasting money, but not much. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is trying to get as many orchids as possible. It's finally time to go track those down. I'm going strictly off of memory, so hopefully I can find them all. I'm assuming that they respawn, but I've never actually checked, so uh, that's just an assumption. It might not be true. And I'm also... Oh, I'm going to talk to the uh, amputee guy. standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Uh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee. I'm not sure. You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was, he was tall yep. and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Yep. I'm sorry to hear it. He, he saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. Oh, I think I made the man sad. Or at least he's contemplating. All right. Well, let's go. I'm on the hunt for orchids, and I'm also going to try to get whatever animals I'm missing. So, uh, we're going to head down to panther territory. And I believe our first orchid is around here, if I remember correctly. Now, these panthers are a pain in the butt. Oh, it's Kevin's friend again. Uh, these panthers are a pain in the butt just because studying them is, like, near impossible. Very hard to get a drop on a panther. I will try to use some predator bait, but it's never worked for me before. Um, I can craft potent predator bait. I don't know if that will improve my chances or not. I've never actually used it, but no time like the present. Oh, do you guys have a bunch of hats on? Do I see a bunch of hats on these fellas? I see a whole bunch of hats. How much longer you gonna be buried here? Hat time! Oops. Oh my god, what am I doing? Ah, oh, I killed him, dang it. Alright, got his hat. Got his hat, and... Did I get that hat? No, I killed him! Oh, that sucks. Dang it, I could have went for his head. Oh well. 
Ah, I suck at this challenge. I find it amazing that I shot people's hats off all the time when I didn't want to. But now, I have a challenge to shoot off hats and I can't do it. Oh well. There'll be more opportunities. Just in case I get another opportunity soon, let's get... Oh, I'm actually out of regular snake oil. Why don't we use potent snake oil? Um, but anyways, I want to make sure my dead eye core is maxed at all times. I really should have got that done there. I'm sad about that. It was a perfect opportunity. Their heads were like all right there. All just begging for me to shoot their hats off, but I couldn't get it done. Okay, so we do need to be careful. As I'm sure you're aware, panthers are extremely, extremely dangerous. In fact, I should fix my health core. And we'll even uh, fortify it a bit. Let's get some health. In case I do get attacked, there's a small chance I'll live. Potent health care. There we go. Okay, so that orchid should be right around here if I remember correctly. I thought it was right over here. But I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Well, that's what happens when you go with memory. Um, I think there might have been one... Over here? What do we have here? Hummingbird sage. Yeah, that's not what I want. Wow, this is a wonderful start. What do we got over here? Hummingbird sage. Right, let me look at the map real quick. Maybe I can... Remember. Well, let's search around this immediate area. If no luck, that's fine. We can always come back later. I just have to write down which orchids I have. I really thought it was over here, though. It could also be over here, and I just picked it up at some point, and, and they don't respawn. And if they don't respawn, that really sucks. Let's try down here. I also need some birds around here, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Well, we've come up empty. Guess we may as well see if these people are home. It's been a long time since I've been out here. I guess uh, I killed the father, didn't I? Maybe it's just the son. What the hell? Oh, I'm ready for you this 
this time, you what? This time? Hey, kid. I don't want to hurt the kid. I'm leaving. Calm down, kid. I don't want to kill you. Ow. Ow. Will you leave me alone? Here, leave me alone. Oh, did he cut the rope? I didn't know they could do that. That's interesting. Alright, well. Someone can save him later. If I let him go, he'll just attack me again. Somebody will help him. Hopefully. He's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Wait, he's got a knife. He'll figure it out. He'll get himself loose eventually. I don't know if that's actually true, but it should be true. Alright, anyways. Since we're down here, let me see. We look for that panther. Okay, you are going to stay here. I am going into the woods with some cover scent lotion. Was that a badger? Oh, I need a badger. Well, hopefully this doesn't get the the panther's attention, but I don't want to pass up a three-star badger. I haven't seen one in a long time. It's not showing me his head. Okay, be careful. The hunter could turn into the hunted. Oh, and just in case I do, potent health care. Where'd you go, little badger? Can't see his face. Show me your face. Ugh. There. Got him. Okay. Haven't heard a panther yet. But I definitely heard that. Got my gun ready. Okay, where am I on the map? Right here. This is a pretty good spot, I think. Let me try... Let's see, can I make... Potent Predator Bay here? I can. And uh, let's make it with winter green berry because I have not crafted anything with that yet. So that'll mark that off the list. Uh, although I might just get a boar. Well, we'll try it anyway. Okay. Okay. So we're going to drop that right here and hope for the best. Oh, I got two of them. Nice. Um, John, you want to you wanna use it? There you go, buddy. All right, we got the good stuff out. Let's see if we catch anything. That's the boar. Stupid boar, no one likes you. Where is it, the boar?
Well, maybe not. Let's give this a moment. Not seeing anything. It's a little eerie. Nothing showing up. Huh. I don't like that. Oh! Cover scent wore off. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I might just have to give up on this panther because I'm not seeing anything. Put another cover scent on. See if that helps me. Is that a snake? Picking up over there. Oh, I think that's the bait I dropped. Or something. Yeah, whatever. All right, where am I here? Let's try one more bait and then I'm gonna take off. So we'll try right here, see what happens. Oh, oh, I hear it. All right, hold on, we gotta quickly get to safety. That had to have been it. gonna get you Mr. Panther. We are gonna get you. Where is he? That had to have been a panther sound, right? Had to have been. Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't even see him. Holy crap, they blend in well. Alright, he is studied. Oh, and I'm so dumb, I don't have... Ah, oh, crap, I don't have the thing I need to get a panther pelt. Oh, and I didn't track him. I gotta do that right now. Alright, so either a rifle with high velocity or express bullets, or a bow with improved arrows. Dang it, I completely... Just did not even think about that. Uh, well, anyways, he's been tracked. Question is, does he see me? Hopefully, the answer is no. Actually, it doesn't even matter now. Because I've tracked him. Alright, get over here, Rachel. I'm going to get a panther pelt. So weapons, we want the rifle with high velocity or express. We'll just go high velocity. All right, hopefully he stays there. Oh, no, 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 no. Rachel, you stay. Stay. No, stay. They put I haven't studied, Rachel. Apparently not. All right, studied now. All right, hopefully that panther's still there. Crap, this makes me nervous. Where are you, Mr. Panther? Oh, is that him? Nope, that's a squirrel. Crap, I lost sight of him. No, where'd you go? 
Oh, I'm pretty sure it's hunting me now. It must be. You know what? I'm gonna ride through on Rachel. I think it'll be fine. Unless it like comes right next to me. I think it'll be fine. Was oh, that another badger? Hey, another badger! Alright, we'll deal with that later. Right now we are only worried about one thing, and that is that freaking panther stalking somewhere in the forest. And there it is. Gotcha! Ha 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 Finally! My first, I believe, first perfect panther pelt. So that. There's my girl. And uh, let's see, to get these birds that I need around here, I'm gonna need it to be daytime, so let's go ahead and sleep. Okay, and we will sleep until... let's go to noon. Hopefully, we find some birds. I've already... I've already, um... Studied the birds that I need, I believe. So it should just be killing them. And plucking them. Hello, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we should be on the lookout. I'll just use binoculars. That's what we got up there. Can't even tell. So there's two I'm looking for. Herring Gull. And uh, Carolina Parakeet. So if I can find any either of those, that'd be excellent. And as far as I know, they are both Easy now. able to be found here. Oh, <laughs> Oops. You okay, girl? Let's go. Slow now. The heck is that? Hey, what are you? I do need eagle feathers. Hey, bald eagle. I'll take that. Don't fall in the water. Uh, it might be too deep. Nope, we're good. Actually, don't even remember what I needed feathers for, but I'll take it. Need them for something. Okay, um, trying to think what else I needed over here. There's a couple of, uh, 
There's a couple of orchids I could get. What are those? Oh, is that milkweed? I need some milkweed. Oh, that's burdock root. Dang it. And mint, I don't need that either. Come on, girl. One more time. Alright, so yeah, let me try to get uh, a couple orchids out here. Oh, and what are those? Are those evergreen huckleberries? Because I do need those. They are sweet. All right, getting stuff done. Calm down, Rachel. I see you freaking out. What are you doing? Why are you going towards the freaking water? What are you doing? All right, screw you. I'm getting off. I am. Oh God, move, John. I think it's chasing me. Get off of me. I just punched the freaking gator. I didn't even know you could survive those. I am going to kill Rachel. I am officially going to kill that horse. Alright, somehow I survived, so we're okay. Alright, what do we got here? We've got... I can't loot it. There we go. Ghost door. Okay. There should be another type of orchid out here. I thought it was out here on this stretch of land, but maybe not. Oh, here it is, I think. Is this the one I'm looking for? Yep, clamshell. I'll take that. All right, as much as I don't want to, take Rachel out of here. After what she did to me. Stupid horse, get over here. Trying to kill me. You know what to do, girl. Okay. Don't you dare, Rachel. You calm down. There we go. That's just a baby gator. Come on now. Rachel's losing her mind out here. I'm unfortunately not seeing the birds that I need. Unless that's one of them. Yeah, this is a bad place to look anyway. Got a hunter. Okay, I don't believe there's any more orchids I need out here. I do know of one. Or in this direction. I think it's in this fenced area. But I know I've grabbed this one before, so if it's not there, they might just not respawn. It was somewhere in here. Nope, nope, that's probably it. Are you the one? Lady of the Night Orchid. I think so.
You got this, girl. Okay, the next one I want to get is out in the bayou. It's near this, uh, whatever this house is. I want to say it's like over there. Also, while I'm out here, oops, I'm going to be on the lookout for vanilla flowers because I need uh, a few of them. I believe I need one just for my challenge, for the herbalist challenge, but I need multiple for crafting. And what kind of flower is that? Is that milkweed? Kind of looks like it. Good, I need some milkweed too. Oh, and that might be vanilla? No, this is uh, Lady of the Night Orchid. Alright, well, I don't need that. I thought there was some vanilla around here. Where's the vanilla? Tell me. That looks like another orchid. Is that Lady of the Night as well? Nope, vanilla. Sweet. Oh, wait, before I pick this. Ah, hold on. Let's see. 33 of 43. Let's see if this goes up. It did. Alright, good. So I'm pretty sure that was the only non-orchid that I was missing. So that is great. Something over here. Are you an orchid or a vanilla flower? Looks like an orchid. Lady of the night. There you are. Okay, so it should be right around here. Oh, vanilla. Sweet. I need you. And spider orchid. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm gonna call this the rapist house. Um, there's two orchids near him. I believe the first one's like around here. So yeah, let's head over. I believe this area can have Carolina parakeets, but uh, probably not in this weather. So I'm sure we're unfortunately out of luck. Okay, I think that house is right over here. Let's make sure we don't run into any gators. Oh, and my health core was never recovered. Let me fix that up. That should work. Okay, there's an orchid here. See if that's the one I'm thinking of. Rat tail, yep. Ok, 
Okay, and there should be another closer to the house. I forget what it's called, but it's a different one. Wait, what the heck? You again. Uh, didn't I kill that guy? All right, well, that's weird. This is your own dumb fault. All right, anyways, cigar orchid. Let's go. Okay, uh, the next one I believe is north of this little tiny church. Let's put a marker there. Girl. I'm only leaving him alive because I just find it odd that he resurrected. Grab the wrong spot. Oh, this is it. Uh, that might be it. That's the one. Okay. Here we go. The next one I want to get is uh, on these like little islands over here. Oh, and while I'm in the area, let's see if there's a Devon Bull. Because I know there can be. And I would love to get that done. Nope, nope, nope. Is that it? Oh, wait, there's a bull over there. What kind of bull? Slow now. Angus. Blah. You're not the one I want. Well, oh well. Okay, Akuna Star Orchid. Okay, the next one I want to get are the ones that grow like all over Butcher Creek. So, uh, oh, it's actually farther than I thought. I wonder if I should just fast travel there. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's. Let's go into San Denis, see if we can get the mutt, because he can spawn in there. And then we'll fast travel to, like, uh, Van Horn or something. that dog. Not seeing him. Usually around here. What the hell? What's your problem, buddy? Didn't do anything to you. 
Alright, not seeing that dog. Be around here. Where you at, dog? I know you're around here somewhere. Ah, not a mutt. Let me swing back around, make sure there's not a mutt hiding somewhere over here. Here, dog. Where is he? Oh, he's back there. What kind of dog are you? Bah, same one. Alright. Anyways. Let's go fast travel. I hate going through San Denis. I just want to leave. I don't want to be here. All right, let's get out of here. Going to Van Horn. Time to wake up. We're here. We've done this service. Be safe. Okay. Hello, girl. Back in Van Horn. Ah, train's gonna block me off. So, heading over to Butcher's Creek. Uh, anywhere should do. Let's just put a waypoint there. Okay, here we are. And like I said, these orchids are all over the place here, so it should be easy to find one. And I'm pretty sure we just did. There we go. Okay, our next one is near the trapper. So he's over here. It's actually near the robin. I think it's like somewhere in there. Or at least where the robin can be. So I'm going to try to get another robin. Because I do need robin feathers. So that's something I should try to get while I have the opportunity. There's also that spot on the desert where I found one. But that... Seems like a long shot. I'm not quite sure where it came from. I know that this robin is just on the bridge. So let's get that bow ready. So there's the trapper. The bridge is right over here where we could get the robin. Ah. Let's 
seeing any. Might be because of the rain, might be because they're just so freaking small. But just my luck, it looks like the rain means no robin. Alright, but I do believe that this is the area I'm thinking of with the orchid, and it might actually be below the bridge. Easy now. <laughs> Thought it was down here. Am I remembering correctly? It might not be. Nope, oh, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, and this might be the one I actually already picked up. But, either way, if I didn't, I picked it up now. Alright, and then, uh, the final one I want to get on this video is, I believe it's... Uh, it's on this trail leading up to the house where we recently got the weapon. Uh, I want to say it's like around there. And then there's just one other orchid. And the first one I was looking for. So I should. If everything has gone according to plan. When I look at my herbalist challenge. I should have just two herbs left. After I get this next one. Oh, I wonder if these are a timber wolf. Oh, it is a timber wolf. What did I have to do again? Ah, get away from me. Do I have to study it, I think? Hold on, let's find out. Awesome, that was perfect timing. What do I have to do with the timber wolf? I have to... Oh, track! Well, that's easy. I can track it right now. Ah! Oh, I need... Oh, really, Rachel? Kick it. Kick it. Yeah, there you go. Alright, what the heck? It's trail right there. Track it! Oh, Rachel, why you do this to me? They shouldn't do with a cougar. These things aren't scary. Alright, hold on. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna have to kill one. Go away. Ow, will you stop biting me? There, tracked. Done. Kill these freaking wolves. Yeah, you better run. I'm gonna track you as well, just to be safe. There. Alright, did we get it done? I hope so, because I don't want to deal with timber wolves anymore. Yeah, there we go. Done. Knocked off two pain in the butt animals. Got the timber wolf and got the panther. It's good stuff. Let's go, Rachel. Okay, somewhere along this path is an orchid, and I don't remember exactly where, so... Somewhere. Maybe it was up here. Oh, this might be it. Are you it? You are it. There we go. Alright, so let's look at that challenge. Hopefully we are seeing only two left. If we're not seeing that, I'm very sad. And we have exactly two left. Perfect. So, just the two orchids that I'm missing, and that will be done. Alright, so we'll plan to do that uh, soon. For now, let's go to the nearest stagecoach, which looks like it might be Van Horn. Well, let's go to Annisburg. So we'll head over to Annisburg. Well, actually on that path. If that's going to be the path, let's go to Van Horn. So we'll go to Van Horn. I'm going to fast travel back to Valentine. And I'm going to head over to Flatneck Station, which is where our next mission will take place.
So, yeah. We're really getting close now. Knocking out a little bit more every video. And on the next video, we're going to knock out a huge portion of the compendium. So we're going to be much, much closer than we currently appear. I could swing by the trapper, but I'll deal with that later. I do have the panther pelt and the... And a cougar pelt and possibly some other things. Oh, I don't have the badger pelt. But we'll deal with that later. But yes, knocking out lots of stuff, getting closer and closer and closer. It has felt like the game that never ends, but we are actually coming up to the end in the near future. At least for single player. Of course, we will still have Red Dead Online to knock out, but that will be a completely separate can of worms. What's going on over here? Ah, stupid Murphys. I don't care. I can't stop you guys. You're just gonna murder and kill. Murder and kill, it's the same thing. All oh, you murderers and killers. Completely separate types of people. That is over there. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, never mind. It's just a homestead. And we've made it back, and I went right past the stagecoach thing. Okay, Valentine, please. Oh, for God's sake. Here we are, all in one piece, too. Thank you. Okay. We are off to Platinum Station. And I find it odd that the stranger mission isn't showing, but it should once we get closer. Unless he's just not there at night. Which is another possibility. Oh, and if that Yarrow has come back, I need a little bit more. Let's see. Those are carrots. Hey, it did come back. Let me take this. Need lots of Yarl. Although this should be enough. Okay, we should be all set on Yarl. Is that up there? Is that an owl? There's an owl. Hm. I don't need any owl feathers, so I'm not gonna bother. Just about there. Should be seeing that stranger mission circle any moment. Oh, we got a train coming from somewhere. There it is. Huh. Where's that circle at? 
There it is. Okay. So before we take off, let's craft a few things. Get some more compendium entries done and then uh, we'll be good here. And I think I need the campfire for this. So let me go out into the uh, wilderness. If that's what we want to call this. Nope, still too close. How about now? Am I in the wilderness now? I am in the wilderness. Okay, so we are going to craft some special bitters. And is this the stuff I wanted to use? Uh, yeah. Because I've not yet crafted anything with Sage or Wild Fever Few. So that'll knock both of those off the list. Let's go ahead and craft that. Okay, and then I also want to use... I think I actually want to make special bitters again, but this time different ingredients. Or, or potent bitters, I meant. Or no, actually. Or no, this is what I want. I want potent bitters, because I wanted to use... Or no, now I'm confused. Sage and burdock root. Oh, right, right. So sage... There's two types of sage, and I guess it just picks at random with which ones you have. So let me see which sage actually got used. So if we go to plants. So desert sage has not been used. I don't know if I actually have any. But hummingbird sage should have. No, that hasn't been used either. Now I'm super confused. What? How did I not use any sage? All right, I don't understand. Let's make uh, potent bitters and see what happens, shall we? Actually, let's just make two potent bitters. Stow that. So hopefully I had some hummingbird sage and some desert sage and now both have been used for crafting. Well, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, now nothing makes sense. Maybe you have to craft the thing that it's telling you to? I I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out because that makes zero sense. I just used sage in recipes and got nothing. So yeah, that's odd. Well, I guess while we're in here, let's make sure the other ones worked. Um, what was the other one that I used? Uh, wild fever few. So that should have been used. And it was. So yeah, that, I don't get it. Something weird happened there. Okay, and, uh, one more thing I want to craft. And that would be an improved throwing knife. And I have the eagle feathers I needed. So let's craft it. Okay, and that should have updated my compendium. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, the improved version of the throwing knife features a larger blade and handle, but still remains perfectly balanced for throwing purposes. The extra weight allows it to travel faster through the air and hit the target with a greater force. This upgraded weapon can be crafted by combining a regular throwing knife with an eagle or hawk feather. Alrighty. So, we're all done 
here, and our compendium is now at 451 of 553. So more progress has been made. Alrighty, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.